Hello everybody, this is Corbin from Zoco Marketing. Uh, today we are gonna be going over how to add a custom domain to your Shopify store if your domain is inside of Bluehost. So, so me personally, I use Bluehost. Um, I love Bluehost. I used to have a GoDaddy account, but I just didn't really like how everything functions. So I made the switch over to um, Bluehost. So I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to set this up um, to change. So right now, as you can see, my, my domain is zocoapparel.myshopify.com. We're going to make that a custom domain inside of Bluehost. So I'm going to jump right in. We're not going to waste any time and we're going to go right over to Bluehost. So what you're going to want to do, actually disclaimer before I do say this, if you do have concerns or your trouble or you're worried about messing with your DNS records, I do encourage you to reach out to Bluehost support um, to have them help you set this up but this is just a guide to help you kind of go through and this is how I do it. So we're gonna go to Bluehost and you're gonna to go to um, over here on the left-hand side, you're gonna to go to, to domains and then my domains. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the domain that you want to uh, have your Shopify store be named. So as you see, I have this Zoco Apparel domain that I am going to be using. I'm gonna hit manage right here. We're gonna wait for this to load up. And then we are going to go, oops. we're gonna go here to DNS, this little DNS tab. And then we're gonna scroll down. And uh, this is where people kind of get tripped up. Don't be too worried about this. Like I said, if you feel uncomfortable doing this or making these edits, feel free to reach out to um, Bluehost. If you get messed up, you can always reset your zones back to default. But what we're gonna do for this first one, this A record right here, um, I actually went through and added this already, but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna add record and you're gonna wanna have um, host record, you're gonna have this at symbol, and then you're gonna have it point to Shopify's um, IP address, which is this 23.227.38.65. Uh, Leave this TTL as the default, whatever it may be on your um, DNS records, don't touch that. So this is the A record, the first one that we're gonna wanna point that to. And then we're going to hit save there. Next, we're gonna come down to this C name and we're gonna hit add a record. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this www and then we're gonna have it point to um, the shops.myshopify.com. And once again, leave this as it is and then we're gonna hit save. All right, once you have those two um, things set up, you should be able to now go back over to Shopify. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect existing domain right here. We're not transferring or buying a new domain. We're connecting one because it's in our Bluehost account. We're gonna connect here and we are going to type in the domain, hit next. And we're gonna verify connection. So th those, that step that it was just asking me for, it was, it was showing those steps that I just went through with you kind of in a roundabout way. Um, so I verified the connection and it's gonna come back and say, you know, we've verified your connection, you need to wait 24 hours or whatever it may be. So we'll just give it a second. Awesome, so as you can see here, um, the domain is now connected. The domain status is connected. Um, I don't have my uh, secure uh, SS, SSL certificate yet on this website. That's the little S after HTTPS on the domain. But now we are connected to zocoapparel.com. And uh, it says here, it can take up to 24 hours for the changes to propagate. In my experience, that sometimes happens sooner, but after 24 hours, if that doesn't happen, then I would reach out to either Bluehost uh, most likely Bluehost is going to want when you're going to contact to troubleshoot this. Um, Shopify really can't help you with a lot of those details. So hopefully this was helpful for you. I looked on YouTube to try and find a video for something like this and there wasn't one for Blue, Blue, Bluehost specifically. So if you're on Bluehost, hopefully this is uh, helpful for you. Now five minutes, not even five minutes has gone by and I want to show you uh, the domain. So I went in and I typed in Zoco Apparel and there is my store. Um, as you can see, it's still very bare bones, still working on it. Want to show you how to get the, uh, the domain connected, but uh, I do have my catalog starting to get it built out. Um, just some random stuff here. Uh, but now as you can see, it's that easy to get your domain connected 
Um, you don't have to necessarily wait those 24 hours. I would check it right after, honestly. In this case, this did update in about five minutes and everything was up in there. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscri subscribe for more um, Shopify content, more online marketing, and we will see you in the next video.